<clears throat> resident activities and relations. Uh, the quality of relations you have with the residents, it's a direct correlation with the length of their stay. I just mentioned that you, you're able to establish some report and a good report, hopefully. This would, uh, would give you a better chance to retain them, to have them sign renewals, to sign repeated contracts uh, and leases. Treat them with respect and courtesy. Be attentive to their needs. Show empathy. Uh, respond to their requests uh, promptly. <clears throat> it's very, very important that each company has a policy and then it follows the policy to where service requests from residents are completed. Typically, a service request, most companies have a policy of completing with it within 48 hours from the moment it's been uh, related to management or called in. Uh, emergency has got to be taken care of immediately, of course. So that, that really helps a lot with resident retention. 70% uh, of the customers are lost due to a lack of personal contact. So personal contact is also very important. Make it as personal as possible. <clears throat> Call the residents back on service requests. They have a request. The service technician turn in the work saying the work is being completed. Have someone in the office follow up with the resident and say, hey, Mrs. Smith, was this completed? Was the work completed? Uh, did the technician clean up behind themselves, right? Uh, was it complete, uh, completed to your satisfaction? Do not wait until the resident comes back a day later mad saying, this is a mess. They left a mess. They didn't complete the work. The notes are saying that the work was done. Nothing has been done. A sort of thing if you're proactive and you're the one calling them versus waiting for the bad news it, it goes a lot better even when something goes wrong it gives you the opportunity to fix it and it also gives them a sense of okay these people really care about me as a resident they value me as a resident resident requests this is where <clears throat> your service team um, plays the number one role. <clears throat> First of all, the way the service requests are received, make sure the phone calls are always answered. If the phone rings, someone in the office got to pick up always. Don't wait for it to go through, through voicemail. If you're going to let it go through the voicemail, it's a less, lesser of a chance that you know, you're going to be able to speak with a resident in person. So you're losing not only the opportunity to respond immediately, but you may be losing an opportunity to make a contact, to establish contact and build some report with a resident while you're on the phone with them. Uh, one of our uh, service requests, a policy is great to have in place, 48 hour completion time. It's, it, it's ideal, uh, sometimes uh, even 24 hours. It's even better, right? And emergencies to be responded to immediately. Oh. And then have a system to check, constantly check emails from residents and voicemails, make sure that there are no requests sitting out there and not being attended to. Hire the best maintenance professionals. This is kind of the toughest thing that uh, we're facing as an industry. How do we find great maintenance professionals? We're going to go over that uh, in more depth uh, next in recruiting. Professional in, in their appearance and the way they speak with residents. Um, have them clean behind themselves after the work is completed. If the resident is present, you know, communicate what was completed. And also at the end, if the resident is satisfied with the work, ask for a review. Ask them to do a review. Um, how many of you live or used to live in apartments, in an apartment. Okay. <clears throat> you're, you're probably not at the age where you're renting yourself or, you know, uh, your experience was not directly related to, you know, uh, renting an apartment. Uh, I'm assuming, you know, maybe your family, your parents did. But uh, where do people go first to find out about the service of a, an apartment community? What level of service? Is this a, an apartment community that I want to live in, or maybe it's not so desirable? W where do people go first? Yeah. Yelp. 
Okay, w where else? Like the internet, like Google, we can use Okay, so review sites, right? We could call that review sites, whether it's Yelp or Google, or yeah, for apartment industry, there's a site specific to, uh, to, um, to reviews, apartmentratings.com. It's pretty popular. So everything's public nowadays, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's ugly. So people share their experiences online, right? So what you do want to do is when you have great service, when you have a resident that's satisfied with the service, is to ask them for a review and say, Mr. Smith, I appreciate your kind words. Would you please take a minute? Uh, what we have done, what I have done in the past, we had cards, we created cards that we will hand the residents with where they need to go to. So they don't have to go do a Google search or whatever for apartment community. The whole information is right here. So if you have a satisfied resident, you just pull the car out of your pocket and say, would you please take a couple of minutes to do, uh, to do a review? And you'll, you'll be amazed. Most people will go ahead and do it. And this will really improve your, uh, your community ratings.